Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Uh, we're going to have some adventures for you over the next couple of days for sure. Hasn't quite started to come in fully yet, but we're going to have some good times anyhow still. What a beautiful sunrise. Hope you all will join me in a serenity prayer now. Um, those who like to do so, please do. All others will be back here in a few moments' time. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. I'm going to leave you for a few more seconds to watch that sunrise, and then we'll start off our vlog. Enjoy, people, enjoy. Right, this morning guys we are operating without the external microphone um, so we're gonna have a lot of sounds of the ocean it's gonna be absolutely perfect um, I have to say perfect because there's no wind blowing and the microphones are probably even better than if we had the directional mic we'd be able to really hear the power and the continuous blast of this ocean I'm not sure how many of you know where we are as yet um, I'm sure some of you may have guessed if my brother Malcolm is on for sure and there are quite a few others but not a lot of people are being where we are let's show you how close we are uh, where we are this is how close we are to the cliff here right now not that far really maybe about four feet or so for the actual drop off it took us a little while to get here this morning um, we left home a little bit late but the roads were clear and uh, i'll tell you the war wagon was purring she was a happy girl this morning but anyway we got over here in good time but i had to make myself um get to this location in time to start up the vlog so that's why we're starting a little bit late um it is quite a good trek away it's like a kilometer and a half from where i parked 
um, but it was the easiest way to get here and also want to walk back in that direction now as mentioned today we're going to be broadcasting multiple times from different locations we will be following the swell uh, or we'll be watching the swell at any rate I'm um, going to be staying clear of a place that our family will be gathering tomorrow um, for our docile Saturday. It'll be a different docile Saturday, just to let you know up front. Uh, however, we will be taking in all of this section here and up in the east coast and stuff. So if you want to see what Barbados looks like with this massive incoming swell, uh, we'll be able to show you that in the, uh, the day through our duration of the vlog. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning as you can see here. I'm still staying on generally on the sunrise area just a few seconds time. However, because I've used the word beautiful, I have to turn the screen around and that is most obvious good morning to each and every one of you all I send in my love from Barbados to all of you all but especially to my little co-star that I see on here this morning so good morning to you and good morning to each and every one of you it's gonna be a beautiful day um, today we're gonna start with peace and harmony and strength and calmness and, and love and comfort and care but let's start turning around let you have a look and see where we are and explain to you a general location so you can follow it when you're ready to come to this spot but be careful on these cliffs especially today and these upcoming days lots of heavy sea hit in the cliff area so be careful of break johnny cliff etc so stay back an extra foot or two today please thank you all right so here we are first of all beautiful beautiful sunrise thank goodness we had a low cloud this morning it gave me the chance to get an extra few minutes to come over here um i'll show you where we are now here we go we're gonna start our spin i'm gonna go through uh our first um, the MC, what we used to call 360, it's now called the Circle of Love. I will do this quietly for you to take in where we are and then I'll tell you um, what the location is. So we're going to start in a more, um, a more difficult area to guess. Here we go. What a glorious sunrise. Oh my goodness. For those of you that have not guessed, oh gosh, I gotta stop on this for a few more seconds. I'm gonna give you all like maybe 30 seconds just to take this in because this is stunning and the sets are not coming through right now, so we don't need to rush off. Enjoy this here for 30 seconds, folks. I'm gonna count as well too, so thank you for start your watch now. Well, I extended that slightly because I know my thing keeper, she's on there. I saw her eyes watch any time. So I want to make sure I got it right. But look at all of these sea spray, how it's forming. Again, the same mystical kind of mist that we looked at over the last two days that we were covering the East Coast. Just beautiful. You can hardly even see up above. You can maybe see as far as uh, Cummins Bay, possibly. You can't even see Little Bay. Maybe just vaguely make out the point in the distance. That will tell you um, how heavy the sea spray is because that is not that far. Usually we can see that very, very clear. All right, we are at River Bay, as I've seen a couple of people guess. Um, those of you um, that are seeing us now for the first time from this angle, you will understand that you need to get out of your cars and do a little more exploring when you come to Barbados. Do not stay in your car and think you've seen Barbados, you have not. It is better to cover a part of Barbados completely um, on one trip and then come back and cover the others after because I know as long as you come to Barbados once, you will be returning. We are really fortunate that this swell is coming. In one way or another, there's the goods and the bads to it. 
The good is is that River Bay is getting cleared out of all of the sargassum that it's had here built up over the years. Here it has never really rid itself of sargassum. Even when the season comes to an end, it still bikes in this general section and sits on the beach inside and also up in the actual river. Um, however, as you can see, all the sargassum has been cleared out over the last few days. It is looking absolutely beautiful. Don't worry, we're getting back to the swells in a few minutes. Sets are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, so it's, we're not going to be missing anything. We'll get back there in a few minutes thing. All right, in the distance here, you're seeing the NCC facilities. Um, they have changing rooms, etc. There, this was a... I would say one of the most popular picnic spots in Barbados in years gone by. Um, however, when the sargassum race really started impact here heavily from around 2015, it very rarely do you find large groups here. Before here being packed with like maybe 15, 20 B buses and ZRs. Um, some BTs as well bringing church groups and large community um, services and stuff down here for their picnics. However, that has not happened for a long time because of the stench, um, because of all the sargassum was in this area. It was really, really terrible. It's only now beginning to clear out. No, all along the year so far it's been really heavy but over the last two days with the massive swell coming in and the swell that's going to come in all this will get cleared up that is the good of it the bad of it is is that we're going to have major beach erosion if the swells are, be, are being predicted are coming through along the east coast and stuff all that all that beach on the east coast is expected to be underwater um, later over the course this day as the swells get larger and larger um, it will be coming right up possibly to the east coast road so please do not go down the east coast beaches or on the beaches on the northern side and, and they're going to be walking about on the beach collecting shells today because they are going to get big these swells and when they get big they can do so very very quickly you will be caught off guard or will, could possibly caught off guard you cannot fight the power of this nature today if you're caught on the beach by these swells and these collect you or start to pull you you will be going out into the water if you come back in it's left to be seen so start to pray if you have a gap self in that location but please don't find yourself there please you can still do your prayers but do not find yourself there all right at the moment stunning stunning sunrise again beautiful beautiful northern section there is no swell coming through at this present time no set i should say the sets are closing out right across here in one line so you will be seeing that in a few moments time and throughout the course of the day they will be getting bigger and bigger and bigger we certainly enjoy them then for sure all right let me go back over a little bit of the river bay section for you we are parked down by north point what was the former north point beach resort that's way down in the distance where you're seeing like one little palm down there in the center of the screen sticking up in that general area that's where we walked from this morning i should say hustled from because i came across here quite quickly um and we're going to go back in that general direction today when i first came down i was saying wait are the swells do not know where the swells are they're supposed to be a lot bigger and then the set started to come through so like the cam that's behind us right now is what i saw when it came in this morning um it is not as big as i expected to as yet however the predictions are it will get much much bigger as the day goes in around nine o'clock ten o'clock that's why we're going to be doing multiple broadcasts today. So please note that your comments will probably not be responded to. You may get some emojis and stuff, not in the kind of time frame that you would expect normally because we're going to be on the road covering this. Because if I am not here covering this, you can't see it. So today is like a sacrifice a little bit. Tomorrow maybe the same, similar thing as well because there's so much going on this island tomorrow. There's a 5k run along the same east coast expecting big swells. Should drop off a little bit but we're gonna have a good time so we'll see how that goes but for today it's looking as though your comments may not be answered entirely but you should get some emojis and stuff later on in the day depending on how tired this young boy is so <laughs> stunning absolutely stunning now uh, I would say I haven't done it for like maybe six or seven years um, I used to drive from here through the riverbed up the cliff and all along this area where you're seeing the tracks and stuff um, right across through Cummins, which is another in Latin Island, and over into Little Bay. I have not done that for about six or seven years. A lot of the river here, etc., is not really, um, can't really get through the machine I have. I guess you have a real big lift machine or something possible. And also the Cummins has got extremely difficult as well in that general area. All right, so this is River Bay, as I'd mentioned. Beautiful facility. You can drive down in here. I'm getting across to where I am from River Bay. I didn't come that way because I wasn't sure how much sargasm was in there. And there's also, we've had a lot of rain and stuff. so. There is a sort of river that runs in the center of the screen going back up towards North Point or North Point Beach Resort. Um, a little difficult to cross on this, some conditions, so I didn't chance that this morning. That's why I parked below. But you can park here across the river section itself and then come over onto this section where we are. Just a beautiful little pinnacle out in the middle of the water kind of thing. All right, we're going to work our way back over here. We're going to take in a little bit more of this. Um, we're going to walk ourselves in a westerly direction. We will be seeing the sets as they're coming up now. 
you can see that the swells are picking up here they're much bigger than this the spout is not really operating at the moment but we are going in that direction hopefully she will bring through a big couple of big sprays for us later on today um, when the tide starts to come back in i would imagine you will be seeing sea spray up above this cliffs here for sure um, with the kind of predicted swell they have going on if you're on the island uh, get your cameras and come out and enjoy today this is something you will probably not see too often we usually see this with a hurricane swell or if you get deep lows but this one is a is a exceptionally strange system it is actually a tropical system or subtropical system that's just to the northeast of us and generated some massive swells do not get fooled and think well these are little small swells because these are actually well overhead some of these sets here and um, they're going to get a lot bigger where you're seeing that rock there you will probably see them breaking out there later on in the day itself we may not cover back here again but we will certainly be covering other places of interest along the coast and as I said, it will be random because we won't be bringing you, um, like we wait to swell a little bit more. So we probably come back on around 9 or 10 o'clock or so. But you will know when we come on because you will get an alert. I'm going to give you another spin here as well. I'll just wait to get, actually get a little bit closer over here to Cliff. Just to give you a little bit more of a, a feeling and understanding of the power of out here. So here we go one more time. You can see some of these sets are coming through our large the power of these here is unbelievable you can see how it's just hitting on the inside section here um, tide is dropping I think it's long low tide around 10 something this morning so we are on a dropping tide uh, however high tide you will probably see these cliffs being impacted a lot more than they are right now but they're gonna break out a lot further out um, than they would later on as it starts to come back into full tide beautiful 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 northern coast of Barbados so if you thought that you came to Barbados again um, that you've seen Barbados if you have not been out here along these cliffs anywhere along these northern cliffs here you really haven't taken in Barbados remember if you're gonna come here bring a pair of solid shoes if you're gonna wear if you're gonna be walking on cliffs such as this with coral especially along here in the southeast side of the island please bring hikers don't bring software because this coral is extremely sharp in certain areas right now here is fairly beaten down um, but a lot of areas are extremely sharp so you want to have on the right foot tire you don't want to come out here and, and then get yourself injured or anything that is certainly not what you want to do for sure remember when coral cuts you it's going to take a lot longer to heal i mean tons and tons of time longer anyone who's been cut by coral will confirm that with you still have traces of the ash in barbados ash fall that was from st vincent um you'll find it along the cliff areas here especially because up here is many coral as you can see solid coral so it doesn't filter through the ash it sits on top of the actual coral itself you find a lot over here on this side and also on the east section a little shower of blessing coming down on me a couple of little splatters but don't worry we have our sky water force field if we need to apply that we will do so we don't have the winds today that will make us look like mary poppins we will be able to actually stay on the ground and be comfortable and safe lovely surrounding areas as well and here's remains so much like how it was years ago not too many changes in this immediate area for sure we come into the area known as ladder bay um it basically sounds it has reasons i am sure although i don't know if that's the actual reason i'm sure it's the reasons of because they have to use ladders to get down to the sand section out here we'll be over there in a couple of seconds time we're not actually at it um, but there are some ladders prior to this swell they were perched on the cliff down to the beach however i doubt they'll be there right now i'm sure over the last few days um around monday or so any swell was really pumping on the east that that would have taken care of those ladders for sure Glows and reflections off the water, stunning, as you can see right there. Just breathtaking, just beautiful. I did mention what way is breaking by the rock. As you can see, it's already starting. This evening, it will be all out there. I think maybe around midday or so. 
they'll be well formed out there in one lane going across I'm eagerly looking forward to seeing it I'm not looking forward to any damage but I am looking forward to seeing it I've mentioned this to you for a long time about what we have experienced here before and you haven't had the opportunity to see it so hopefully you'll be able to bring that to you today just beautiful 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 I can actually taste the sea spray out here right now actually <laughs> see what I'm tasting the sea spray uh, hold a second let us all look set in the lower section looking nice and pipey as well in great conditions the winds are I would say maybe easterly right now feels like due east coming in that direction looks like perfect conditions for all over this side of the island all right people so we are going to breathe I'm gonna do some breaths here now you know me I believe in sharing evenly so let's start off this first one is gonna be for me because I want to start with me this morning if I don't breathe then I can't talk so here we go This sea spray, you can taste it. It is absolutely beautiful out here. Again, so good. Now one for you. Now, as I said, I like to be even and share things evenly. This one is for me, myself, and I. And we are the committee. We are the only official committee. We're not the make-believe committee of these false positions that are being talked about all the time by the secret police or her committee of who knows who anyhow this is a real committee me myself and I we are democratic we made sure we uh, have three members to make sure that our voting would be fair and democratic uh, so far everything has been peaceful we've never had any dis uh, disagreements um, so me myself and I perfect committee members for sure sets picking up definitely looking really good I know all you surfers online that have not gone over to East Coast um, because it's looking real rough and tumbly and stuff. I'm not too sure how the West is when it came out the West It just looked like a lot of surging coming through but no real breaking swell for a little bit of West that I did see um, So I don't know if that's gonna crank yet, but the angle looks fairly good for something to happen later You can see how it's coming in for the north for sure Definitely should have something up by maybe make or so duppies in that general area today Well, maybe beyond that as well, but right now those two places I'm sure are cranking Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Absolutely beautiful. I know some of you have been with us out here before on this walk. So some of you are saying, well, I, yeah, I've seen that before, but I can assure you that anyone, even if you've been on this walk before, is right now looking at this here and saying, wow, that is so beautiful. Because what is it? So beautiful, look. Even got a full moon for you all guys today. Full moon, just beautifully perched right there and just in the opposite direction. Rays of promises and hope of a new day. A new day that we've been given to start all over again, correct all the mistakes we made yesterday and try not to make anymore. But remember, God is forgiven. So if you make mistakes today, as long as you don't do them purposely, um, you know, if you try your best and you still make a mistake, well, that will be forgiven. So you don't have to worry about that. Remember that. Just pray for forgiveness. Don't expect it. this to happen. Beautiful, beautiful conditions. This is Ladder Bay we're coming into right now. We're gonna have a people over there in a second. Beautiful area. In the distance, that lower elevation that we're seeing the point out there, that is the spout. You can see it shooting quite high in the air at the moment. Uh, that will get a lot, lot higher. And I mentioned before, I know people may have thought it exaggerated, 50, 60 foot of spray will go up there later on today for sure. I have actually seen that. We were um, granted special, special permission to visit a site today, but we may put that off until tomorrow. We're going to see how that goes as well. Beautiful conditions. Now here's a, a good example of why you don't come on a cliff and stand up on the edge of the cliff even if it looks like a solid, solid mass. You can see that that is all you know, under there now. As you can also see, although a solid, fairly solid coral around, it is still breaking off. You can see the cracks that are there. So a place like that would not be somewhere you should be coming to stand on to take your picture. <laughs> make sure you just look around, make sure the cracks are sort of like on the seaside of where you're standing and keep yourself safe, people. You don't want to come out here to capture a photo or take an opportunity to get a video or something and then never be able to show anybody that or even relive it again. Please be careful. I'm going to exercise, I'm going to exercise caution to the best of my ability as well. Um, so don't think that I'm out here being careless because I do know these conditions fairly well. Although we haven't seen them too often, I am aware of what happens out here. I'm aware of the cliff and stuff. So what, what you see me doing, I am, I'm actually being cautious. I'm not taking chances. I have way too much to live for. It's not that I'm frightened to die, but I know God's not ready for that yet. He wants me to continue on here and spread our love 
peace and joy and happiness with all of you all helping me. This is Ladder Bay itself. Now many times a year you will find sand on the intersection here. You'll see a little small cove down below, but you actually do find sand all over here. But not with these swells that we be having. At this time of the year with north swells and stuff, all the sand is sucked off in the section. However, in summer, um, unless you get big hurricane systems, you will find sand mostly along this area here. These are the little inlets you guys will use to go down to the ladders. Um, they will climb down these sections here onto the ladders and then go down onto the beach. If you look back in this direction, you may see a ladder too, hopefully. Sky this morning, absolutely perfect. This is what we call a perfect sky. This is going to pick up glows and reflections today. It's going to keep the day cool. Right now in Barbados, again, we're looking at the same kind of temperature as well. According to the websites and stuff, we're doing the same 73 or 23 degrees centigrade, whichever way you want to look at it. However, I know for sure that when it came through uh, Bell Bottom and Waterford this morning, uh, down there had to be like more like 20 or 21. Extremely cool conditions right now in Barbados. These are expected to probably get cooler and cooler as that big uh, system to the northeast of us pushes the cooler air that's around the cold front stuff that will come off the states. So we get a lot cooler air coming down into Barbados at this time. It's just beautiful out here, really beautiful. So remember, please do not expect your comments to be answered in any kind of timely fashion. Um, you may get away with strikes today, that is a possibility. Although I see some comments on here that I feel I just strike everybody out and give it two strikes and call out George. But we'll leave that for another time. Um, we'll see if that, what happens. But we're going to be taking in and concentrating on showing you the strange conditions or these strange conditions today. Just beautiful. Look at the look at the sea spray all over the island. Look at the colors. Is that not just stunning? Some people have said to me, Nick, I wonder. I don't know how you manage to be so excited and so full of energy whenever you do the broadcast. You've been doing it almost two years now, and that is because this that we are seeing right now is my energy. This is where I find God. Right here on these cliffs. Right here in this water. Every time I hit start button on this. He takes over and that is the truth i'm not telling you that he tells me the nonsense that i'm saying to you all but he guides me and he makes sure that i have the gift of the gab that's one of the blessings that he's given me absolutely beautiful i think he must share that to most of my family because most of my family talk a lot too uh, i don't even want to compete with me anymore now i've really perfected the art but they used to do so very well before <laughs> we'll see. I haven't been to a party with them for a long time because they have not invited me. I'm going to state that publicly. They have not invited me. <laughs> so I saw my cousin here this morning. So all I know you should be ducking yourself behind something, a coffee table or something, because I am talking about you and blood. Uh, you all have not invited me anywhere for a long time. I, I already know why. It's because I don't have anybody with me. You all like the company that you should carry with me whenever I go anywhere. No matter who it is, you all just don't like me alone. So I understand. Here's a set, it's starting to pick up. So you're going to see this here as it's coming through now, especially for this angle, it's beautiful. You also have a look at the spout as well, she's not really going straight up. I see there's a sailing boat out there just to the left of our, of our um, camera. They've got to be going through some real, real hard situations right now trying to get into port. Uh, they must have had a real rough crossing wherever they've come from for sure. Is that not just stunning? Look at the size of these sets that begin to come across here. This is still nothing, people. You're looking at close and maybe double that during the course of the day. So we're going to have some exciting, ex exciting adventures for you all this morning. And into the day itself. Beautiful conditions. Again, all this will be one line straight across here later on in the afternoon if what is predicted comes through. Absolutely beautiful. I see somebody here saying, Nick, you need more camera time. Nick, you need more camera time. Well, I shall comply. You already know that I like to make sure that whatever you all desire, I try and give you all. So if you want more camera time from me, I'll give you more camera time. I'll even give you a profile shot. And just in case you didn't see that one, how about this one? And just in case you didn't see, check the glow of the sun on me. <laughs> so beautiful. This is so beautiful. I know. Thank you. I see the timing. I know it's me you're talking about. I'll show you the other scenery in a minute, but just a little more of the beauty. Awesome. <laughs> so, here we go again. We're going to turn around one more time. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cliffs. As natural as it comes. I was expecting this morning, to be honest with you, to come down here and have to step way back from where I am. I really thought it was going to be that big this morning, but it's a little bit slower in coming. 
than um, was originally mentioned. They thought about it be coming in Thursday into Friday, um, like peaking on Friday. It's supposed to peak around between 9 and 12. Um, that's what they're predicting according to the wave charts and stuff. So we will see. But we'll be covering it as I said before. Well, I tell you, you all get away with murder today. <laughs> I, I'll tell you, if you, make, if you make a comment on this life that I do not like when I'm going through and seeing emojis, I just see a, a, instead of having a smiley face, a hug, an angry face, or some kind of love or something being expressed, but you see a strike, you will know that I can give you a whole set of explanations today. When I have a strike, you look back at your own comment and see what it's all about. Because <laughs> I don't want missing these. Too many opportunities here to get a lot of coffee in my, in my cup for sure. That's lovely, lovely out here. Now you will remember the times you've been here before, majority times you've had. Ooh, winds are all around right now. It's coming straight in my face off the northeast as well. This is quite interesting off the north even. It's maybe switching to the westish. Lovely conditions out here. I'll show you right now. This is the east section. Uh, we'll be looking in, in general east section right there. This is where the winds are coming from. They've completely changed from where we were this morning. They're coming straight out of here. They're switching all the time. That is the predictions of the wind charts today. They'll be switching from east to north to northwest, etc. All around basically because of that system. We are not expected to get a lot of rain. Some of our neighboring islands are expected to get some rain off the bonds and stuff. They're being pulled into that system. I really did check out this morning to see who would be affected, but I know from this yesterday's recording that I did share up there. Um, places uh, will begin some extra rain today. Some places are saying they're happy to get it. Some places obviously don't need any more, but you're going to get it and take it now. But look at how beautiful this cove is. Just stunning. Again, all the cliffs you can see here, the overhangs. You can see that looks just like a, a, like a rock that's being perched on top, of an, on top of the cliff. That's basically what it is. This is not solid coral everywhere. You can see that some of the areas are being compressed and stuff, but you can see there are little small little small coral uh, heads and stuff within there and also mixed in with the chalk and, and clay and mud etc. So please be careful out here, it is not all solid coral as you may assume. The coral heads being linked with softer matter in between so you will get a lot of cracking in this area. Just beautiful, look at this lower ridge and stuff. Mention about the beaches etc. This is where you will get sand as I mentioned before this is Ladder Bay, all here is Ladder Bay. Um, so this is beautiful, but those lower, most of those lower sections, you can see mosses on it. Um, so they would not actually be covered with sand, but sand would be between those uh, coral masses there for sure for most of the year. It's just beautiful out here, but again you can see the kind of makeup of the actual cliffs itself. It is not a solid, rock solid coral. Just be real careful people, like you know, keep mentioning that all the time because a slip out here, maybe your last slip you may, so please be careful. Beautiful, beautiful northern section of the island, just stunning natural Barbados. Again, as our conductor likes to say, this is the real Barbados. This is what it's all about. I'm gonna do another 360 from here. Actually, I'm gonna do a, not 360 this time. Uh, actually, not 360, okay, don't feel talking. I am going to take a talking break. Hold on a sec, just so you can see my face. I am actually serious. I'm gonna take a talking break. So, we're gonna do our circle of love. And I'm gonna walk for a little bit, let him take any sounds and stuff so you can imagine you're here with me right now. So open your eyes, bring your memories to the surface and let it go now and join them together and merge them and be here in Barbados on the northern cliffs of me. Here we go.
I know Mary all like now I, if you're not commenting already you know send look at the glows on the sides of these buildings as the sun is beginning to come up just beautiful all the shadows are disappearing began some color now good morning how are you going see this gentleman every time that we've been here he rides across these cliffs every morning he tells me and every time we've been here we've actually seen him so it's just great to see him out here again this morning no he is fine and doing well but look at all of these shadows that were under here just looking like big pockets of browns and and grays and stuff earlier on they're now beginning to actually um, pick out different you know to identify the trees more and everything else it's just beautiful really really beautiful so i did say we we're going to do our circle of love and then i was not going to talk so i did tell a little bit of a fib there but again i am hold on a sec let me let me say this right so you can see let me make sure you know uh what i'm about to say is accurate i am the boss of this vlog so <laughs> i can talk when i want to talk y'all can say what y'all want to say and i will give you a strike so i don't mind so we can now do the silence i promise you here we go I see some people saying see you later so I got a break silence and it's because of you uh, if you have another five minutes I would recommend you hold on because we're gonna get around with the spout and we're gonna take him by North Point Beach Resort I'm sure you're gonna love to see that cove if you do have another five minutes uh, if you have to do something go and do it and come back quickly in five minutes because that's about approximately five to seven minutes to, to get to where we want to go to you can see though as we were coming around just now when we were going through our circle of love you would have seen that our hair start to line up in one line uh, so you will understand now that I was not exaggerating to you. You can see it starting to form here in one line now. It's going to be one line coming across here, breaking perfectly later on. We're gonna have a look at that. Well, maybe not that here, but we'll be seeing it over the East Coast for sure. But the one line effect will be coming into play today because this is that big a swell. That's our destination, down to the spout. That's where we're off to. If you look over the trees there by where the war wagon is, center of the screen, that is North Point. Um, that is down by Animal Flower Cave. You can actually see down there, you see spray coming above all of those buildings and trees. You can just keep your eyes on that for a little bit. Uh, set just came through there and pushed it right up over. So there's got to be a big set coming in right now off the north. So maybe we will see that here as well in a couple of seconds thing. all of the elements working for us today you know we're not having any wind conditions that are causing any problems for the gimbal or for the microphone system you're actually able to take in probably some really all-round sounds more all-round sounds right now than you would be normally with that mic so i guess today is a perfect day for this perfect perfect day. actually every day is perfect but today is a little bit better for this and i know that there's only one other thing in this world that's as beautiful as me and that's obviously <laughs> my friend my family my loved one who is helping me against all of those people that are following themselves in a faults committee i'm gonna let him wave at you all as you all can see who is the best in the world you can see who he's talking about who's the strongest in the world you can see who he's talking about that would be me of course so he, he knows the correct correct thing to say i don't have to pay him at all he's very very compliant sometimes he wants to steal the show he told me once before that he was gonna start doing the vlogs when he was uh, not feeling well when he had covid and then uh, had an incident before that and he said he was going to go and do the vlogs, bear hot air, a lot of talk, did not leave home at all, fighting, hiding in the house all the time. That's how it goes though. But you know, people are just like our hot winded and, and airish committee that's out there that's uh, being presently led between the, between the troublesome ones or the troublesome one and her uh, accomplice who is known as the Seagrate Police. They're the people who have threatened me in every form or fashion that you can possibly believe. I was laughing the other day because someone said they're praying for my co-host to come back here so that she will calm me down and settle me down and get me to behave myself. I have bad news for you. She actually makes me behave bad. She told me 
Do not change. Be exactly as you are. This is the person I love. So you be exactly who you are and you don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything else. Follow your journey and be who the person you are. So what does that clearly tell you? Behave bad, hug the camera, talk a lot of nonsense and insult people whenever I can. So she is endorsing that. So you all are asking for the wrong person to help you all for sure. <laughs> no, that was a little bit twisted, but don't mind. It works for me. As I told you already, when I tell something on here, it is 100% factual. Uh, if you ever go on to Google or Bing or any of the search engines, Yahoo, whoever, and you search and see anything that says different than what I'm saying, trust me, it is wrong. Send in a complaint. Let them know that Nick the Beijing Warrior told you all it was a different way and they will have to correct their information on the site because they will do so when they hear my name called for sure. I didn't tell you all to silent anything. I can talk. I can do whatever I want right now. I noticed that our, our um, boss lady driver has not got the bus back out of the shop yet. So right now she comes out in the morning just that you all not knowing where we're going. Uh, there's only one person knows where we're going besides me. And uh, <laughs> that person is not going to tell you all. That is for sure. Big smiles on the outside. Definitely coming through beautiful. Now we're going to go on this point. We're actually going to see we're close to the outer reef where it's breaking now, unlike where we were just now where it was rumbling and coming in. There's a lot of deep water just off of here, so it actually breaks right on the cliff itself or very close to the cliff. That's why you're seeing what's happening down at North Point. That's why the cliffs down there are going to have spray projecting so high in the air, and that is because they're hitting, coming straight in from deep water and hitting the cliff, where, I, where unlike here, it's breaking on the outside and coming in, rolling in. So that's why you're not seeing the impacts in this cliff the way that you may have expected it. The lower section here, yes, but not the upper section. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The whites of this foam and stuff is looking incredible now. You see there are other folks walking across here. Not sure if they're visitors or if they've come to follow our vlog. <laughs> see shortly, maybe they're family, who knows? All right, so this is spout, known as the spout. Very, very big, big um, cavern here that creates this big, spout and sends water like really literally 50 60 feet in the air um, when the high tide comes in it starts coming right in over the out, outer reef there and hits this cliff it's just going to go straight up in here it's a beautiful morning though top heavenly heavenly this is nature at her best uh, absolutely stunning conditions out here i would say best and more po most powerful and rawest it's a long vlog I'm looking at my watch here, I see we got like 45 minutes into the vlog already, but we're not finishing yet. We can do this one here and then the others will be a lot shorter during the course of the day. We won't be doing too much walking. We will just be bringing you different conditions and showing you different stuff throughout the day. Morning. So we got some folks waving off. Not any of our family thought they were rushed over here for sure. Got on camera and spoke to you all. So I'll do it for them. Good morning, how are you all going? Yes, so greetings from Barbados and um, it's nice to have you all with us. It's a beautiful country, absolutely beautiful. Fresh air is divine to die for. <laughs> you all expect me how to turn the camera? I can go in front of any camera that I want because I am that gifted with techniques and talents. Remember, I am an Olympian. I am certified at everything that I do. All right, we're gonna get a little closer here to these folk. Don't worry, I am not taking chances. Be understanding of that. I don't intend to take chances, but I do want to get a little closer to the action. So here we go. All within safety, of course. Well, remember we started a vlog here a couple of times, or I think we did it at least once in this exact location here. Much different conditions than what we're seeing now. So today you're up, up seeing some very, very different conditions to what we're accustomed to out here for sure. So the spout comes up here. It's one of the blowholes on this side here. It's a very big blowhole. You can see it's starting to wake up there. Um, as you can also see, the tide right now is a little bit lowish. So. A lot of these swells will be hitting in here later on, they'll be really pushing it in the air, will be coming in. And also the swell is going to be getting bigger. You can see, you can you can literally see the swells are getting bigger to when we first came. You can look at that right here and see that. You can see the kind of coral here that I was all talking about will raise a sharp as well. So if you're going to be coming here, please um, bring your 4x4s. Look for some nice hikers. I like to recommend mid cuts because it gives you the stability of the ankle and stuff. Walking along the east coast and thing definitely will help you a little bit. I see somebody playing a snoring. I see somebody with Zeds on there. Well, that, you know already, that is like serious strikes if I ever get a chance to check these out. For sure. I know it would have to be the scenery that's putting you to sleep and certainly not my commentary. 
I will, I will forgive you because I, I know the scenery is not as beautiful as me, but I do have to turn the camera on for that. Like 0.0001% of people that want to see the other view. So there we go. To my brother, surfologist, psychologist, Ryan, you asked me where it was this morning. I told you to watch your screen in five minutes. Well, hopefully you're seeing where we are. Hopefully you will not get your board or WhatsApp. Hopefully you will know that Makox has got to be producing. Makox duppies, definitely. Don't know if you want a piece of duppies because that might be huge. Um, swells will be getting bigger and bigger throughout the day. Some of those breaks will probably not be surfable because it'll be too big. Um, but we wait and see how that goes as well. But this is the spout area here. You can see how it comes up. It does usually spray really high here. Maybe we'll get a glimpse of it at this location as we're pretty close to it right now. Maybe you can get a look and see. I'm going to show you again. I'll give you a comparison and let you understand how much bigger it is than when we were here last time. Not you can't see that already. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Top boat. Beautiful nature. Nature at its best. All of our brothers and sisters in the islands are north of Barbados. So again, in fact, even heavier than we are. Um, you know, we're saying some prayers for you. A prayer that you get through this area safely and hopefully um, no lives will be lost to this area but this is a, a going to be a challenging system for a lot of people all right now when we usually come down here i talked to you about how the waves break and the outside and reform and come through here we go this is uh, what we're talking about you can see how powerful and how big out here is right now just standing conditions again this is it's probably not even half the size that it's predicted to get later on this afternoon it should be an experience to watch this air as it starts to build throughout the day for sure. You can see how big this is though. This never breaks out there. As you all know, when we usually come, it's along like parallel to this rock here or just even slightly on the inside. Look how far it's breaking right now. And it's just pounding. See spray around here, beautiful. Taste it, feel it, smell it. Just beautiful. All right, so we can do a, our last circle of love from here. We're gonna sign off for now and then we're gonna come back later on today from a different location. Um, so just bring you back around here, let you have a little bit of a look and see what's going on, explain to you exactly where we are. Former North Point Beach Resort, closed in the late 70s. Um, usually one of the very, very popular places here at Olympic Pool. We used to have a lot of Caribbean swimming tournaments and stuff. We'll talk more about that or if you go in the um, YouTube channel and put in North Point Beach Resort, um, you should find that coming up. You can have, actually have a look. We've done some walkthrough there a couple of things, but we'll be doing more in the future for sure. Big swells. So here we go. We can start at this walk. We're going to end at this rock and then we'll see our farewells. All right, folks, that's it, for, that's it for now. So we will be broadcasting later on. I see some people on here that I most definitely had a look, see if we can uh, reprimand for sure. If you all see me picking tomorrow on Switch Mary and our water baby, Simon, you all will know why. Because if you all have been reading the comments, you will see it's just deserved. So don't tell me, oh, could they? You can have pity on them. And Cheryl, please don't come out sulking tomorrow again. Come out tomorrow brave. I don't want you to be sulking and, and whimpering all the time and quarreling with me and, and sort of like sucking her thumb and crying. So get ready for that tomorrow. We're going to be taking some action tomorrow against these people that have been literally verbally insulted, insulting me, myself, and I and the entire committee. Have a great day. I'm going to leave you right here. Please carry the peace and joy that you have experienced. I'm sure you have. Carry the beauty and the serenity that has been bestowed on us today at this northern section of Barbados. This is the room known as uh, Animal, sorry, North Point Beach Resort, our River Bay. We're in that general area in St. Lucie. Have a great day. Love you all.